Okay, welcome to Monster Party. This is a game that was released by Bandai, and it has a bit of a cult following to it, but it's it's an alright game. Um, my parents actually owned this uh, before I was even born, I think, and uh, that's how I found out about this game. It was because um, they told me about it, and they told me about the dancing zombies, and I thought that was absolutely hilarious. So at one point I was just like, you know what, I want to try this game out. So I bought it on eBay, and I was completely mind blown by its retardedness. Okay, so Mark was walking home from a ball game. He looked up, and he saw a bright star. While he stared at it, the star got bigger and bigger. The beauty of the star made his eyes moist. Okay, how does beauty make your eyes moist? If anything, I think it would make your dick moist. So he didn't notice that the star fell and landed right in front of him. It wasn't a star, but a monster. There should be an exclamation mark there. I, I love, I love, <laughs> I love Mark's reaction here. Mark quickly asked, he's like, oh my god, there's a monster in front of me. Hey, who are you? <laughs> and Bert's just like, Yeah, what's up? I'm Bert. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> the best... What? There, there's just no words. I'm looking for help. Evil monsters are out of control in my world. Come and help me. You're asking like a fucking nine-year-old kid to help you fight a world of evil monsters. Surely this will go well. <laughs> I am afraid to fight the evil monsters. The evil monsters. <laughs> Don't worry. With your weapon, you'll be able to destroy them. Really? Because, like, you know, bats aren't exactly the best weapon I would use. Like, maybe I would get, you know, something like a gun? Heck, dude, why don't you get, like, a fucking priest who, who has, like, guns and stuff? I mean, the priest would probably go with you because he's like oh I must spread the good word of the Lord and by defeating these monsters I will become the new messiah and then that guy can start a new religion on your world and then you know if tons of wars will start because of this religion crusades will start all that shit and there you go your problem is fucking solved but it's brought with a new one of course but don't fucking bring a nine year old kid with a fucking bat to your place to fight some fucking monsters <laughs> I love how this line is just the period, by the way. <laughs> this isn't a weapon, it's a bat. See, Mark knows what he's fucking talking about. And Bert's just like, I, I, I don't know, just fucking do it. And you know what's worse? You can, you can switch between the characters, and Bert's the better fighter! Like, he did... Yeah! Like, why did he even need Mark? Was he just afraid to go on his own? He needed some company? Is he... he ugh, God. God. And now they're going through the sky like in fucking Peter Pan. Where are we going? We're gonna fight the evil monsters. Where are they? Second star to the right and straight on till morning. And then, for no reason, they just fuse together. Like... Mark's like, how are we going to fight the monsters? Like this! And then they fuse together to make fucking Markert. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is the first war level. Uh, as you can see, it's very happy. Ow. Oh, look at- Oh, look at that! See, isn't that so happy? This place is so happy that there's people stuck in the ground and kicking their feet happy. And there's the singing plant. Okay, 
funny story. Uh, this game was never released in Japan, but it was created first in J like it was being worked on first in Japan. Uh, I don't know why they didn't bother bringing it, uh, like releasing it in Japan, but um, there are betas available of this game, and there actually is a uh, like behind this guy. There's supposed to be like a microphone or something. Oh wait, I think it's supposed to be in front of him right here, and there's supposed to be like a a stereo here. Yeah, you see, I can stand on it, even though it's not there. Which means that they intended to put it in, but they just never fucking did. Like, why did they take away the Little Shop of Horrors references beyond me? Because I think that's actually kind of cool. But anyway, when you be defeat certain monsters, sometimes a question mark will show up. And it will have a random effect. It'll either heal you, give you some points, do absolutely nothing, or turn you into Bert. Which, by the way... No, that's not it. Okay. Now, as if this game weren't trippy enough, to turn into Bert, you need to take pills. Yeah. <laughs> and then... And look at this! This is exactly why I, this story is all bullshit. Not only can Bert fly, but he can shoot lasers! Like, he doesn't need Bert! I mean, Mark... He doesn't... He, he can just... Uh. And it, this place isn't so fucking horrible. Like, I mean, yeah, there's evil monsters here, but there's happy faces everywhere. This place is not that bad. Sorry, I'm dead. How can you talk if you're dead? How can you... <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? What the shit is... Well, so much for Happy Face Land! Okay, this is probably the most bloody Nintendo has ever gotten. Look at, like, there's blood seeping everywhere. How did this make it past the radar? Please don't pick on me. Alright. What? What? Don't tell me to fucking not pick on you when you're picking on me, you fucking big pumpkin face. Fucking hypocrite. This guy, you know this guy? I think his entire difficulty is just that. He just plays a dirty trick on you because he's that much of a jackass. How much crack do I think they were on when they were making this game? The sad thing, Game Freak, is that I don't think that they were on crack when they made this game. I think they were perfectly sane. <laughs> because I do believe people can do this without any influence of crack. I think there do exist people that are this just fucking weird. But you know what's even you know what's even weirder is the fact that Nintendo let this go past the radar. Ooh, health. And there we go. We're done with the first level. So, now that the shock value is worn off, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna let you know that it gets even fucking weirder from here. Okay, now I'm gonna start explaining the gameplay, alright? <clears throat> so, you're Mark, obviously. Uh, you swing your bat, which has shit for range, but you can deflect projectiles, which is... which instantly kills any enemy that it hits with, except for bosses. Bosses take as much damage from pro from deflected proje projectiles as they do from your bat. So it's usually best to just wail on them like this. And not... Like, you should just trade blows because the bosses are way too fucking random. Like, in terms of patterns anyway. So you're gonna get... You're probably gonna hit, get hit no matter what. Okay, so right here is a crocodile who detaches its tail and shoots it at you. And this is a spewing thing. Change the fire emblem, this be boring. Alright, Garrick, fuck you. Go eat a dick. Okay. 
Bum, bum. All right, now there is some advantages to using Mark over. Uh, there are some advantages to using Mark over Bert. Uh, as I stated before, deflected projectiles will kill any enemy in a single hit except for bosses. This means that enemies can take l less hits than Bert. Um, than Bert's lasers to kill. Oh yeah, those are reverse mermaids. That's a good observation, Captain Min Minamitsu. Alright, this enemy in particular takes a while to kill with Bert. So, you're actually better off just using Mark for for that. And believe it or not, the final boss is also uh, more... Like, well, arguably more ideal for uh, Mark to kill. So, Bert isn't completely apeshit when he wants your help, but he could s still probably blaze through this game much better than Mark could. <clears throat> Go to your room and I'll see you in my office. Blade Hero, that's a reference to... Uh... Project Z, Episode 6. See, Blade here, even though I even though I know you're annoying, or at least I find you annoying, I can at least safely say that you watch my videos very dedicatingly, because you quote them, and they're actually, like, very accurate. Okay. So, uh, we're fighting a shrimp. And now we're fighting an onion ring. And what better than some fucking shish kebab right after that? <laughs> I don't even know what the things in the background are. This is not when McDonald's attacks. This is when fucking Japanese restaurants attack. Boop. Okay, check this out, alright? So, as you guys have seen before, it takes a lot of hits for Bert to kill this egg thing. Now, with Mark, it takes only one deflected projectile to kill it. So there is some semblance of strategy in this game. I really wish they would have, uh, like made Mark a better character. Like, I, I really wish they had just given both characters their their uh, pros and cons and not just made Bert mostly better all the time. Well, just better most of the time. But, because uh, that would have added more strategy to this game. It would have been uh, more challenging and s stuff. It would Though, one of the things that makes Bert so powerful is the fact that most enemies don't take a lot of hits anyway, so it tends to be easier for him to kill the enemies. And, um... I, I just feel that the game should have been more designed around both of them, rather than just not designing it around Bert whatsoever, and thus making him broken. Uh, did some guy named Bert come up to you before to ask for your help to fight monsters? Um, no. Now, just to be clear, my name is spelt with a C at the end, not with a K. So this guy is not based off of me in any, in any way. Oh yeah, check this out. You can deflect drops of water. And you can actually use this to defeat enemies. It's actually pretty cool. That's actually why I like this level particularly, because you can do that shit. Check it out. Ah, oh, I missed. Whatever. Alright, I'll just go up here. Why am I not using Burp? Because he has a limited time of being used. Oh, oh check this out, alright? So, this well speaks to you and says it's time to do some damage. How does he attack? By throwing dinner plates at you. If he meant time to do some damage, as in time to destroy some rather expensive and nice looking plates, then I'm not on his side for this. 
Because, like, come on. don't. If you're going to fucking try to kill someone, at least do it with something that nobody gives a shit about. Like... Adam Sandler DVDs. There you go. <laughs> if he used Adam... You know what? You know what? No. That... That well did not use dinner plates. Instead, he used Adam Sandler DVDs and threw them at Mark. There you go. Now I have made him less of a douche. Okay, Lord of the Losers. Uh, this game is called Monster Party. Uh, there is something else I... Oh, wait. Why don't I just deflect this? Yeah. Now, here's something that's interesting about this game. Uh, for those of you who have played Super Smash Brothers, you might know that if you tap down while you're in the air, you'll fall faster. Well, that wasn't the first game to do that. This game was. See, this is my normal jump, but if you press down, you instantly fall downwards. This is actually re really useful for when you want to quickly get out of the air. And that, it actually has some use in this game, and I actually think it's a really nice mechanic. And it's unfortunate that not a lot of games actually thought about using it around the time. So, in some ways, this game is actually ahead of its time. <clears throat> uh, yes, I am big on platformers, Garrick. Alright, I'm just gonna slide under this guy. There we go. I don't really need to even fight these enemies, they don't give me anything. Great pun. Okay, so this guy throws cows at you. <laughs> My grandma would absolutely love this boss <laughs> for that reason alone. Now, it's worth noting that uh, enemies will always drop a specific item. Um, depending on, like, uh, come on. How do I describe this? Well, firstly, you're invincible to these uh, spikes if you just duck, which is weird. My legs are asleep. Really? They don't look asleep to me! <laughs> there we go. Shit, I was looking at the chat, and I... Wait. Okay. Did you guys just see that? In case you didn't see it, because I sure as fuck didn't. Okay. So... Ah. Uh, uh, I can't see one. Okay, whatever. Okay, look at that shit. The bats are umbrellas. Evil umbrellas. Wow, this guy takes a fuck lot of, load of hits. Um, okay, so anyway, enemies dropped a, drop a fixed item. And no, I'm not doing Rage Fest anymore. Okay, for an, for example, this enemy right here. Let, let me just beat the shit out of him. Okay, he, this specific enemy will always drop that question mark. However, if I come across another one of him, they won't drop it. So it's only that one specific enemy of that one specific instance. And on top of that, you can respawn him. So if you want to farm something, you can actually do that. This is good for when you want to farm lives, which will become handy in the last stage, because the last stage is actually hard as fuck. Unlike most of this game, which is actually kind of easy, honestly. And that's t from the perspective of a... And this is talking about a game where it's very hard to dodge anything. Yeah, in other words, drops are not random in this game. Okay, let's see what's, what we got here. Nothing. Rage Fest is axed for good. Yes, this is true. Now there is a uh, there is a uh, th believe it or not, people have actually ROM hacked this game. In fact, there is a ROM hacking utility for this. And on top of that, somebody actually made a a uh, people actually did a collaboration hack on this game called Donner Party, which is probably one of the most offensive games in the history of history. Every this game the game pulls every single offensive stop. It references Hitler. I think it even makes him a playable character at one point. The first stage consists of you beating up black people with your dick. 
uh, the, 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 the game over screen shows a woman getting raped. The game is intentionally as offensive as possible, and it is hilarious because of that. Um, but it's actually not a bad hack, either. I mean, there are some control issues, especially in the first few levels, but the game is in some ways actually better than Monster Party, which is kind of hilarious. Okay, this guy takes a fuckload of hits. I think I'm just gonna... Okay, I can't deflect his hits. Okay, uh, I actually do want to do a playthrough of Donner Party, but I think it's gonna be a screenshot Let's Play because I think it might be too offensive for YouTube. So, I, I don't know, maybe I'll do it. The game also has Chris Chan, by the way. I remember Marky playing Lil Remo where Dream Master, Dream Master Hack, where he, the kid wasn't wearing clothes. All right, the person who, fun fact, Captain Minamitsu, the person who made Lil Remo child abuser was the leader who led the collaboration hack of Donner Party. The guy's name is Jomb, and he made that hack. He also made his own game. He did a few other offensive hacks, but what really impressed me was the fact that he actually became an ASM hacker, like a really top-class hacker. And he led this project, a collaboration project. And that, to me, that's amazing, because when I I knew about those games a long time ago, because there's this place called iMockery that reviews offensive ROM hacks. Um, and... Like, I knew about Joan because of it, and and, and I knew of other offensive ROM hack authors from that site. And to see him transcend to that amazingness just amazed me. I didn't think anybody like him would ever amount to anything beyond just making graphic swaps that were offensive. So I actually played Donner Party and I thought it was like there again, there are control issues in it, but um I I still think it's worth a, a sh uh worth a play. If mainly because uh, the gameplay is slightly better than Monster Party and because uh, it's a lot more offensive. Oh, it also comes with an instruction booklet that explains the story in very gory detail. You play as a character named, like, Matthew Damis or something. And he's, he's a racist motherfucker who beats everything with his dick. He finds out he, 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 but he's not really smart. But he finds out that beating he he comes to the realization that it's kind of gay that he's beating people with his dick. So he does a sex change and becomes a mermaid. And then the second stage is you being him as a mermaid. <laughs> and then the next, uh, the next, like level, he realizes he doesn't want to be a mermaid anymore so he gets a so he gets a sex change and a species change back to his normal self but the surgery was awful so he looks like shit so he goes to the the the, the penis caves or something so that he can meditate and figure out what he wants to do with his life and then he decides he wants to throw a party called the Donner party in which he invites Wilford Brimley Adolf Hitler uh, Custer from Custer's Revenge for Atari, which is a, uh, like, a rape Atari game. A pornography game, I guess you could say. Um, and this story is just fucking retarded. And at one point, Chris Chan gets stuck in Kesha's ass. And there's an entire level dedicated to escaping her ass. Oh, man. The things I will play. Oh, no. I just like to be offended. I I find offensive things interesting because it makes me wonder what they were thinking or something. Wow, that was a waste of time. So I just jumped down there for my time to, we to be wasted. Take this, motherfucker! Single hit KO. No scope. Marky, please play this offensive ROM sh ROM hack on stream. Um, I don't know if I will, cause I don't know if it's allowed on YouTube or not. 
I mean, I'd like to. I'd really like to promote the hack, even though it's absolutely, you know, offensive. But, like, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'd actually get in trouble if I were to show it because of all the offensive content in it. Oh, yeah, there's this one level where you fight, I think, uh, Miley Cyrus. And to defeat her, you have to hit her in the vagina. <laughs> Yeah, the videos would probably get flagged. Unless, it, well, what if I put a parental warning or some shit? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll probably just screenshot LP it, and then you guys can see it on my forums. Which, by the way, yeah, I might start doing screenshot Let's Plays on my forum. So, you guys should probably, if you're interested in more stuff from me, you should probably look forward to that. Also, this is the most amazingly animated waterfall ever. Beautiful. Uh, but you can still show it on the stream. I probably could, Mr. Kuro Neon, but I don't want to because I... Oh, oh, this! This son of a bitch right here! This is the zombies that dance. Uh, this is what my parents got stuck on for a long time, for like weeks. And then I think my uncle said, wait, why don't we just watch their dance? <laughs> and that's exactly what they did, in, and that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, listen guys, I'm not going to make videos of a Donner Party. If I'm going to do a playthrough of it, I'm going to do it as a screenshot Let's Play, alright? My decision is is final. So, stop trying to convince me otherwise. I don't want to get my shit flagged. And there we go. You win. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Okay, Screenshot Let's Play is basically like a video game commentary, except you except the all the commentary is in text and the game is represented with screenshots. Uh, these are very common on uh, something awful forums. Oh, this guy is great. You gotta like, he says, "Catch my javelin," and you could just do this the whole time. Ah, uh, but there's sprite limitations. It's making it hard to see his spears. All right, whatever. Let's just stand behind him. Boop. There we go. Yeah. Jay Boney says it best. A screenshot LP is when you write about the game you're playing and post screenshots of it as you play it. It's a documented playthrough, just like a um, just like a video game comment, like a video commentary. It's just a different way of doing it. Okay, Lakumi, the game I'm playing is Monster Party. It's a, it it has a bit of a cult following. It also has a ROM hack called Donner Party, which is one of the most offensive ROM hacks ever created. Uh, and it's it's a pretty decent game. I mean, it, it its level design could afford to be better, but... You know what? Maybe I should do a ROM hack of this game and see if I could, like, do, do really good level design with it. This game has enough ideas that I could probably do something with it. Alright, so, anyway. How offensive is Donner Party? You have to play it yourself. You, you just... There's just no words for it. Okay. You guys ready for the most tedious level in the game? This is a door maze. Need I say more? Also, you can deflect fireballs, apparently. Come on. Oh, I can't. Oh, so that's shooting from nowhere. I thought you could destroy the source of those. Donner Party is spelled D-O-N-N-E-R Party. I mean, I'm going to trust that you know how to spell party. Uh, it's worth noting that some of these doors take you back to the beginning. Which is kind of douchey. Also, this chair is really hard to dodge. Okay, am I getting somewhere? Later, Garrick.
or a racist person who becomes a mermaid then becomes a deformed thing. Uh, there is only one boss in this level, which is, in my opinion, an act of mercy on the game's behalf. And yes, you can deflect wood, uh, fireballs with a wooden bat, according to this game, at least. You can also deflect them at walking pants. Look at that shit. I just hit a fireball with a bat into a goddamn pair of walking pants, killing it instantly. I'm going around in circles. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I could just... Okay, I think I'm heading the right way. Thank fucking Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I'm near the beginning. Come on! Where's the way out? This better not be... Okay, thank God. This is a very tedious maze, as you can imagine. Oh my fucking god! Oh, I'll take that. And it just took me back to the beginning. Shit. Oh boy, we're in it for the long run, buddies. door mazes exist? Is it to give us more for our money? Because fuck that. Yes, there is a map for this level. You have to look it up on game FAQs. And I am too fucking lazy for that. Okay. Was it this door? Yes. I'm heading the right way. I'm not going to watch anime while playing. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, oh, wait, I want that. Snatch. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna save state here. Okay. We might be making progress. We might. Okay, I think I think we're nearing the end, actually. Okay, I think this is the... No, this isn't the door I went through. God, this is so fucking confusing. The reason why there won't be another Rage Fest is just that I've lost passion for the... For the... Contest, really. Oh, for fuck's sake! And I took the wrong way. Great. Oh, for fuck's sake... Okay, come on. Oh, that's really fair game. Oh my god! Fucking Christ! Have mercy! Uh, what does this door have? Oh my god. Guys. This this is... This is awful. <laughs> oh my god. Why... Why? Why would you design this? What is wrong with you game designers? Yeah, you know what? One RP girl, just look up the fucking maze.
You've got to be kidding me! Oh my god. I am... Uh, uh, is maddening. Okay, this looks new. Please, dear God, take me somewhere. YOU MOTHERFUCKER! No, I am not taking this shit. <sighs> Who the fuck thinks this is fun to watch? This is just... Uh... See, it's times like these that I feel like my fans have no fucking taste. Because I know my fans like this because they're fucking retarded like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Oh my god, yes. I'm probably going to die to this boss. Okay. Just be careful, Mark. Come on. Come on. Shit. Shit. <sighs> okay. Hang on. Fuck this. I'm I'm cheat coding this shit. All right, game FAQs, take me away from this hell. Okay. Monster party. Monster party. I wonder what the rating for this game is. 65. That's just about right, honestly. Uh, cheats. Okay, so this was... Uh, that was round six. So, okay. Okay. Is this how you do it? Uh... Whoops. Wrong stage. Okay. At least I know how the code works. Alright, we're, we're set. I think. Yes, this is the correct stage. Holy shit, these enemies take a lot of hits. Leave it to old Nintendo games to become stupidly hard. Alright, I'm just gonna just run past all these enemies. Oh, this guy's name is Royce, by the way. Holy fuck nuts, this guy's fast. He also does a fuck ton of damage. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. I don't know why he was on the bed. He was probably feasting on someone. 
He just introduces himself and is like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill you now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Royce. There we go, I got some good hits in. Oh my god, this guy's so unpredictable. Oh my Jesus. This looks like a Mega Man background, by the way. This looks like something you totally see from Mega Man. Oh my Jesus, fuck. My Jesus, fuck. And this isn't even one... Of okay, you know what? I have an idea. I'm gonna fight some enemies. And hope one of them gives me, uh, Bert. Because this is one of the few instances where I actually want to use Bert. Or feel like using Bert, rather. Yes! Okay. We're good. Let's get this shit done and over with. There we go. See, oh yeah, Bert becomes really powerful here, so that that thing I said before about uh, Mark's bat being really powerful when it deflects shit is pretty much null and void by this point in time, because Bert's become a lot more powerful now, because he now has a double shot for God knows what reason. Come again. All right. Are you gonna give me anything? <sighs> Whatever. The game's just probably trying to fuck with me. I certainly wouldn't put it past it. Welcome, entrance to hell. Wow, a Nintendo game that says hell in it. Oh shit! Ah, uh, how do I fight him? Okay, this way. Hit him. Eh. Okay, I just killed death. Now I am completely immune to death, probably. That's probably not the case. Okay, now, here's something about... Uh, there is a third boss in this level, but if you fight him, uh, you will lose the key. Uh, which, by the way, normally in most stages in this game, you get the key after you've defeated all three bosses. Uh, in the case of the maze level... There's only one boss, so you get a key by killing him. In this stage, if you kill the first two guys, you get the key, and if you kill the third guy, you lose it. Uh, alternatively, you can kill the third guy first, and then kill death, and then you'll still get the key and not have to worry about that glitch. Okay. Here we go. Final stage. Let's get comfortable here, because things are about to get start to get crazy go nuts. Now, I'm going to actually have to grind here a bit, possibly. Uh, the reason why people dislike Mega Man 8 is because it has too many gimmicks and not enough base level design. Okay, this should give you an example of how difficult the bosses are, by the way, because this guy will fucking rake, wreck you. I barely lived and I was using Burt. That should give you an example of how ridiculous this is. Holy shit, man. Okay, something else that sucks about Bert is that sometimes his shot misses because it does the spinny thing. Okay, come on. Those, uh, a lot of enemy. Oh, shit. I know you. Yes! By this point, Bird is so powerful, he can pretty much just damage race the bosses really easily. Ah, oh, shit! Alright, come on. Alright, I'm gonna quickly get through this shit.
Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Give me some breathing space. And he got, does so much damage. Jesus. This is like no fucking way to dodge him. Unless if I were to go through serious, like, efforts. But that's too much fucking effort for me. Alright, I'm gonna have to grind a bit for lives. Well, for health, rather. Notice how this specific enemy always gives me, like, this specific one always gives me the hearts. This can be used to your advantage when you're playing this game. Alright, I think that, that amount of life will suffice for now. It's worth noting that there are f quite a few enemies. Um, there's quite a few enemies on this specific level that Bert just has absolutely fucking no chance of killing. Uh, specifically, the stars, the uh, constellations in this level cannot be destroyed by Bert, n nor can the, the witch. The only way you can kill them is by using Mark and deflecting a bullet uh, shot at them, because that's instant kill to any enemy. People are talking a lot about Mega Man. Maybe I should do a playthrough of Mega Man now. Yes, Bert. Well, I don't mind if you guys talk amongst yourselves. I, I, um... I, I in fact, I would actually like it if you guys, like, developed friendship with each other. Because I, I like the idea of my um, of my fan base being tightly knit with lots of friends everywhere. I just I just want everybody to be together. I'm gonna die, by the way. <sighs> Shit, man. All right, let's do this. I hate it when streams go badly. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna just get myself to full health, because I'm... I'm kind of done with this bullshit. <laughs> Uh, the problem with Bird is that he can't deflect projectiles, so he has to. He actually has to dodge them. That's his only way of. That's his only defense against them. Oh, I guess it does run out of uh, hearts at some point. I guess you can't grind for hearts for forever. Okay, let's do this. Alright, bitch. Let's make an actual effort to dodge you. Nope, there's no fucking way. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's no f Oh, my God. Who the fuck designed this fucker? Oh, my God, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, my fucking God. And I can't grind hearts here. Shit. Alright. Let's hope for the best from here. Can I fly over... No, I can't. Well, I can fly over this shit. Well, that was pretty cool. Killed all three at once. Nope. Come on, die. Yes. Okay. I gotta be careful. 
You know, another problem with Bird is that he's not a very reliable shot. There we go. I can fly over those things. This is where we come across the Mark Soup guy. Come on. Yes! Okay, being careful actually paid off. Now that's not over though. This is oh shit. Okay, I gotta kill the constellation now. Come on. Yes, I just destroyed a a set of constellations. How about that? <laughs> I got to be really careful here. Nothing's dropping hearts. This is bad. All right, maybe there's something in here. You should switch to zero mark and get the fire path, then use your cyber elves. Yeah, I don't like Dream of Five Blade Hero. Oh, are we going to do that pretentious logic? What's that bullshit? Like, I'm tired of people being all like, oh yeah, being insane is awesome. I personally don't think being insane is such a great thing, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Oh, nothing's dropping hearts. I'm in deep shit now. Alright. Oh, but I gained health. Okay, good. This is the final boss. You beat everybody. Beat me and you can leave. Come and die. Okay. The trick with this guy is that he's impossible to beat with Bert. I, I'm exaggerating, of course, but... He's really goddamn hard to fight with Bert because you can't deflect the eyeballs. Which couldn't afford to be any more cliche in attack. Like, they were going for maximum creepiness here, so... Well, I beat him! Mark destroyed the monsters. And Bert actually fucking helped. Bert gave him a gift. And Mark went home. Alright, you guys are gonna fucking shit your pants when you find out what's in that treasure chest that Bert gave him. He excitedly opened the, the box. A beautiful princess came out! Let's think about the implications of this. <laughs> I'm not... No, I. you know what? I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna point out anything. I think you guys can, can come to your own conclusion out of this. <laughs> but suddenly, the princess became a monster. And more monsters followed her. Alright, this has got to be one of the goriest endings in any Nintendo game, by the way. Check this out. Ready? Mark was scared and screamed. Look, Watch what happens to Mark right here. Ah, uh, look at that shit. What the fuck, man? <laughs> and then it turns out it was all a dream. Mark was awakened by his mom. You'll be late. It was a dream. I am leaving. Mark opened the door. Bert was there. He whispered to Mark. Let's go again. So it wasn't a dream. And Bert has Mark's bat. Alright, this is awesome ending music, by the way. You might want to listen to it on YouTube, but... What the fuck? What the fuck? And here's all, here's all these 
all the amazing people that contributed to this wonderful game. You know, okay. I okay. Um I'm going to make a topic on my forums and I'm going to ask you all uh, it, it, okay, I'm going to post the 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 question right now. It's going to be on the uh gamers corner section of my forums, all right? And the 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 thread is going to be titled what uh why do you think Bert gave Mark a princess. All right? And I want you all to answer with your honest opinions. <laughs> what are the implications? All right? So there you go. <laughs> anyway, I th I think this is I think uh aside from a few hiccups here and there, this was an all right stream. It could have been a lot better. I'm probably not going to upload the Aria of Sorrow section because it went awful. Um, I don't know. I don't know what parts I'm going to upload. I might upload the Monster Party shit, but I I'm not entirely sure. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you on the forums. Marky Joe 1990 signing out.